I'm Bernard Thibault, I'm a neonatologist, that's a baby doctor, and uh, I work out of uh, CHEO, that's the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. It's in Ottawa, Canada. Children are not small adults, so there's some specificity to um, their disease and, and pulmonary hypertension as well. Uh, we now know more about stem and progenitor cells, and uh, we're now using this knowledge to see if these cells uh, do exist in the developing lung and if they are perturbed in diseases such as pulmonary hypertension. And uh, ultimately the goal is to turn these cells into therapeutic cells. And at least in animal models in the laboratory, we're able to show that these cells exist uh, in the lung and that they can be used uh, as uh, therapeutic cells to treat or attenuate pulmonary hypertension. Besides my clinical activity, I have a research lab where we can perform research on um, cells in a petri dish or experimental animals. We're able to increase our understanding on how the normal lung grows and uh, what contribution of the vasculature is to that lung growth. And it turns out that contrary to what was thought before that the blood vessels just passively follow the growth of the airways. It turns out that the pulmonary vessels are a active contributor to normal lung growth. If you take the vessels away, the lung doesn't grow normally. And if you put them back, the lung starts to grow or you can repair even a damaged lung. Uh, so this was uh, very exciting from a conceptual point of view. But now was uh, the realization that we can take vascular progenitor cells that contribute to making normal blood vessels, and uh, that we can take these cells and turn them into a potential therapy uh, is, is very exciting and novel. We had the Canadian Stem Cell Network that uh, over 10 years that has really boosted research in, in this field, uh, in the laboratory as well as in the clinical translation. And we see the clinical translation now happening progressively with early phase clinical trials. Right now, we acquire knowledge at such a rapid pace that as an individual, you cannot stay ahead of the curve or even know the knowledge that is being acquired today. So if you really want to make an impact, you have to come together as a group to really push the envelope and try to translate these findings into the clinic and make it matter for patients. I think we have to be able to uh, detect the disease earlier Ideally, with non-invasive um, uh, means, such as um, um, uh, ultrasound, but maybe novel techniques uh, will allow us uh, to do that, that we are not aware of today. And then we definitely have to uh, come up with uh, more potent um, medications that will have a short and long-term improvement in the outcome of, uh, of our patients. It's great to tap into these new techniques that we have today where uh, the patient or parents actually become an active part in acquiring new data. And this will allow us to uh, learn things that um, we weren't aware of. So this is, can lead to hypothesis generating work. And uh, by being able to tap into the daily life uh, of, uh, of our patients, uh, we may gather new knowledge that will hopefully lead to yeah, new treatments, better treatments. Mm -hmm.